Hey, what's up? I wanted to, uh, wanted to share this game champion shift again. They had a recent uh, update to their demo. I guess now they're calling it the prologue version, which I've seen a couple prologues before for um, different indie games. It's basically a demo. <laughs> and uh, I had played this specific game, this demo, before. Um, before they turned it into what, what they now call the prologue. I have nearly six hours played on their demo, which for me is a lot, especially on a demo. I had a, I had around four hours played on the Greedland. I really like that game as well. Anyways, uh, Champion Shift is just really cool. It's, uh, it's easily my favorite in the genre, which I'm not even sure what this genre is. <laughs> they call it a bullet hell. Uh, I wouldn't put this in the bullet hell category, but I would say it's fitting enough, you know. Um, I think most bullet hell games are, are considered like the hardest high score challenge, you know, like, uh, I don't know. But uh, but but um, I could I would I would leave this in the in the bullet hell. Just usually when I think bullet hell, I think um like we're extremely hard, you know, like whatever. Um, but bullet hell games are fun. Uh, they are they're really fun. Um, I still don't know how much this game is gonna launch at, like what the price is gonna be. I'd asked them and they said it would probably be around the range of like similar games, and I was like, really, this game for five bucks? I don't know. Um. This is a high quality game to me, man. Uh, this is this is a just an excellent game. This is actually my gameplay. I forgot I recorded this just earlier. <clears throat> Played a few levels. I came back and one of the first things I noticed, and I got it confirmed on Discord actually. But one of the first things I noticed, I was like, you know, the the colors are a little bit more vibrant. Uh, the image is like a little bit sharper and kind of like it looks nicer. And it was already a good looking game, already a very pretty game. Um, but it actually the update, this prologue version is actually crisper and um, just more vibrant. Like it, it's nice. It pops more, you know. Um, so I asked them on Discord. I was like, "Is it is it is it something with my system or you know like whatever? It just looks nicer." And they said, "Yeah, they changed the um, the visual effects." Uh, let me see. Uh, they made some cha some changes to the visual effects and lighting. And I was like, "All right, so it's not just me," because <clears throat> it was the excuse me. <laughs> it was the very first thing I noticed. Give me a sec. It was the very first thing I noticed was um, just how much more it popped out. Uh, and it, the reason it, it stuck out to me was because it was already a really pretty game. Like, I already was already impressed by it. This was already an instant buy for me um, when I played the, the first demo. <laughs> um, so now they got this thing called the prologue. So they let you play uh, two new characters, as far as I know. I actually, no, I, yeah, they did have a second character available in a previous patch for the demo. I did play it a little bit. Um, so the prologue actually adds like a little uh, story to the very beginning of the game. It's a short, short one, and it's cool. Like it's, I, I liked it a lot. I liked the um, the city backdrop at the end of the prologue, uh, in the in the building in the sky. You're in a skyscraper, and you see like the lights and the city below. And it's totally fake, not realistic at all. Um, it reminds me of um, retro games and how they would use like certain effects like that to make it look like there was a city in the background. But it's beautiful. Like it's really well. That's nice. You know, like it's cool. I was like, oh man, that's really cool. It looks good. I I actually it made me hope there's gonna be more levels like the prologue level like in the game because <laughs> uh, it's really cool. Anyways, um, yeah. So I. I I don't. I didn't even expect to say all those things. I didn't. I don't think I've even taken any notes so far. I just mentioned a couple things on um, their Discord. Uh, oh yeah, I really like the progression of the game so far. I don't know exactly how it's meant to work out and stuff. Um, in the demo, it's nice. You get to play a few different levels. All. Um, it took a while before I got into the desert level, and I'm not even sure when it got added to the demo or whatever. It was probably there for a while. I didn't play this demo when it was like first out or anything, but it didn't. I didn't get to the desert level. It took me a little while, a bit of practice and a bit of playing. Um, 
And then today, this morning, I got to another new level. It's a, like a winter land of like low. So after the desert, you go to, you know, a snowy land and whatever. I'm pretty sure that was what I was playing. And I tried the new character, Gilgamesh, and uh, he was cool. I didn't get as far with him. I like with this, this, I'm pretty sure this recording that I'm playing right now had, um, my highest level reach so far, which was level 42. I think that's the highest I've gotten so far. I don't know for sure though. <laughs> I, I haven't. Anyways, um, but Gilgamesh, I got to level twenty. He died pretty quickly. I messed up, made some mistakes. Mistakes were made, uh, but I like him. He's a cool character so far. Uh, anyways, so yeah, championship. Check out the demo. It's really cool. I like. I I expect to buy this um, when it comes out. It's a good game. Look forward to it. Yeah, like I don't have, um, I don't normally spend hours playing a demo, you know, like usually most demos are around an hour to two hours at the most, you know, depending on the demo. Um, but this one in Greedland, a um, couple of demos that I had, you know, four plus hours. And I'm just like, I don't want to play the demo anymore. Just put this out so I can play it legit. <laughs> but no, I, I love it. I, I, oh, the music in this game is also really good. The music is excellent um i'm hoping they add like kind of a slow-mo mechanic to the upgrade when you upgrade your abilities it'd be cool if there was like a slow-mo to the game mode when you're selecting your abilities i think i don't know it's not like like super hard to pick them when you're running around but uh i think it'd be better better experience <laughs> to slow mode a little bit when you uh when you're selecting your upgrades uh but yeah this so um i don't know if you can tell or anything by looking at the gameplay but it's it's similar to games like vampire survivors um and i have mentioned greedland which is another one of my favorites i bought that one i played the demo of it and then they released it and i bought it and i was like yep it was another one of my well, like i played the demo and i was like i'm gonna be playing this game um but this this one right here is actually my favorite out of all the ones that i played so far uh, it's just really cool. I, I like the art style. I like the characters. I like the abilities. Uh, the uh, visuals are epic. You know, it's a beautiful game. All right, anyways, I've uh, rambled for too long for this, you know, for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.